What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball fan manga review where today we're going to be reviewing the fan manga entitled Dragon Ball X which is a fan made manga set to take place after the events of Dragon Ball GT and for many years now I've been reviewing and looking over fan made Dragon Ball concepts and mangas so today we'll be diving into a brand new chapter of this manga with the events of Dragon Ball X having to take place right after the events of Goku vs Omega Shenron following the over usage of the Dragon Balls and with that we kick off the episode exactly where we left off with Vegeta Vegeta becoming a Super Saiyan 5 with Android 17, Goten, and Piccolo looking shocked as to what had just happened with Vegeta alongside the Elder Kai and the Supreme Kai as we see Vegeta in a burst of whitish energy standing right in front of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He instantly transmits his way towards Goku and begins to beat him around. He punches him in the stomach really hard to the point where you see blood come out of Super Saiyan 4 Goku's mouth and to the point where even Goku himself looks looks absolutely shocked as to what had just happened with Vegeta beginning to go on the offensive and punching Goku around. So Vegeta had achieved this form after realizing that his son Trunks was in fact killed by the hands of Goku after he was supposed to be there to aid his father after his arrival. And even after said being that, we see how Piccolo says, Vegeta now owns an incredible power, there is no way that he could lose with Android 17 saying, but if this continues like that, he's going to kill him before they can find a way to recover Goku's body, with 17 saying that if Vegeta continues this, he's easily going to kill Goku, with Piccolo saying let's hope Vegeta doesn't get hasty and controls his feelings, that way he can get Goku to talk. So we see how Goku is in the rubble, he's beat up, we see blood upon him, and he says that can't be possible, Goku was supposed to be the most powerful being, worst of all is I can't leave without destroying this planet, only contrary is that it could be a greater bothersome later, damn I should have done it when I had the chance and we see how Vegeta says you said you talk if we defeated you Will you do it now or do you want me to keep hitting you and Goku just being very prideful charges at Vegeta with Vegeta like super kicking Goku right in the face which causes Goku to yet again fly backwards and in which case Goku says what do I do damn it right there's something I haven't tried yet in which case Goku says bastard I am not playing with you anymore I'll destroy this planet once and for all and we see how how Goku begins to power up, he lifts up his hands, and he has this massive energy ball, and then the next thing you know, we understand that this does look like a giant Genki Dama, even though we don't know what it is, Goku says, look at all my vital energies gathered here, there will not be any trace of you left, you're all going to die. So very similar to the Genki Dama, it's not sure that if this is or is not a spirit bomb, he throws it directly at Vegeta, with Goku having to say, you are more powerful than me, I'll admit it but it's not enough to stop the power that I have just harnessed it. And we get to see finally how Vegeta grabs onto this energy wave with Piccolo saying he's not boasting. Vegeta's power isn't enough to stop it. The earth is going to explode with Vegeta having to use his powers to push back that of this spirit bomb. So the entire chapter pretty much summarized Vegeta being in total control and understanding that Goku has no possible way of defeating him, especially if you want to compare Super Saiyan 4 to Super Saiyan 5. Vegeta's at a clear end advantage that he has more power than Goku after Goku had admitted this but with Goku having to harness all that energy he wanted to make sure that not only Vegeta died but the entire planet as well knowing the fact that his Super Saiyan 4 powers are in fact inferior to Vegeta but towards the very end Vegeta seems to be very desperately holding back the blast even though he is a Super Saiyan 5. Knowing this we head into Dragon Ball X's chapter number 12 The Last Resort with Master Roshi feeling the entire earth Earth tremble by saying the entire earth is trembling, even Tien having to say the whole world won't resist anymore. Chao Tzu, everyone on the planet is seemingly feeling the after effects of what's going down between Goku and Vegeta. And we pan to Vegeta having to hold back the spirit bomb, and Vegeta says, Damn, I expected more from this transformation. My arms are at their limit. I'll have to take all my power out my body. Everyone here will die by the explosion, but the earth will be saved. There is no other choice. And as Vegeta is pushing this back, he has this memory and, and visualization of Trunks. He sees his son in his head after being killed by Goku, and we see Vegeta begin to erupt in this massive rage-like state to where he kicks the bomb above Goku. So we see how the giant blast is heading right towards Goku, with Goku having to be shocked on the idea that Vegeta was able to kick back the blast, and the blast having nearly came close to hitting Goku had just scaved right past him into outer space. 
With Goku having to say no, it can't be, this is impossible, and we see how Vegeta quickly teleports behind Goku as Goku turns around and punches him directly in the abdominals as Vegeta now is beating the crap out of Goku. I'm talking about kicks to the face, punches to the face, elbows to the face, to the point where Vegeta even beats Goku down to the dirt, and we get to see how Goten is very excited in saying now he'll be able to talk and trying to get my father back and whatnot, and even Piccolo says Vegeta is incredible, how did he retain that power how did he you know even access this energy to begin with and Goku being as badly damaged as he was he still emerges from the crater and you have to give it to Goku especially his body having body memory on all the fights he had before he stands back up and Vegeta says you're done that technique left you without any energy to even stand on your feet Kakarot would have never have been a fool to use that against me in a fight and we see how Goku's about to use instant transmission he He's bleeding from his eye, and just as fast as he tried to use it, Vegeta teleports next to him, grabs his hand, and completely breaks his arm. So Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta breaks Goku's arm, and then proceeds to throw him onto a canyon where we see Goku crash through a bunch of rocks, with Goten having to say, enough Vegeta, if you kill him, we'll never know how to get my father back, and Piccolo having to say, his last attack was as powerful as a spirit bomb, but now he ran out of energy, why why would he have risked that much energy to begin with and once again as badly damaged as Goku is he still finds a way to stand back up and he says why does my body still stand up he does not understand as to why his body is able to stand up after so much pain and we get to see how bloody and battered he is with Vegeta having to say will you talk now if I beat you one more time you'll die and you're wrong to think that I wouldn't do it either with Goku having to tremble as he's standing up by saying all right just give me a second and we see how Elder Kai is saying how good with the Supreme Kai is saying you were right ancestor they were able to solve it themselves with the Elder Kai is saying see bring me some coffee and even though they're joking about it now all of a sudden we see how Goku yet again has more sensu beans and he says I still have two seeds this is my last resort at least it'll give me back my energy to distract him and, and, and be able to escape so that's his ultimate plan is to be able to take these beans and escape and then he says, I'll tell you whatever you want right after I eat these seeds. And Piccolo says, Vegeta, I think that evil Goku is planning to recover his strength and run away. With Vegeta having to have lots of pride and saying, let him, he won't be able to escape. He'll only extend his agony. And Goku proceeds to eat the sensu beans with, with Piccolo having to warn him and saying, no, Vegeta, you're committing a mistake. So Goku eats two of these sensu beans and then out of nowhere, something begins to happen to Goku. We see how all of a sudden, Goku begins to power up and transform and then he himself becomes later on a Super Saiyan 5. So this is the first time that Vegeta alongside Goku have achieved Super Saiyan 5 at the exact same place nearly at the exact same time. With the emphasis being that they want to make Goku talk but he just doesn't want to talk. He keeps pulling out beans and eating them. We saw when he fought Ultimate Gohan he ate a bean and now after fighting Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta he pulls out two beans and he eats them and in a state of rage he begins to power up and transform into himself as a Super Saiyan 5. So this is obviously going to bring us into Dragon Ball X's chapter number 13 with of course the assumption that we're gonna have Super Saiyan 5 versus Super Saiyan 5 but even with both having to bear the powers of Super Saiyan 5 it's quite unsure as to who may hold the advantage we saw during their Super Saiyan 4 struggles that either or especially Goku having to have just a little bit of an advantage over Vegeta now we have Super Saiyan 5 be introduced post your comments down below guys what are your overall thoughts on Vegeta having to let Goku pretty much essentially use the beans up instead of having to make him talk. What are your overall thoughts on Goku having to harness the powers of similar to that of a spirit bomb and having to throw it at Vegeta? What are your overall thoughts on both chapters, guys? Post your comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys love Dragon Ball, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all the latest Dragon Ball news, information, updates, reviews, and discussions. If you guys love Dragon Ball, don't forget to go ahead and slap a like down below. 
tune back in for the next chapters of Dragon Ball X. For me, of course, if you also look at the level of detail, the level of detail in these manga chapters have been absolutely amazing. From the little bits of punches and battles that they've had, even to simple talking, everything seems to be very, very precise and very detailed into the T. So I personally prefer, if you guys want to go ahead and read this yourselves, to go ahead and click the link down below to see if you guys can watch it or at least read it somewhere on your own time. Thank you all for watching. Once again, guys, tune back in for more and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace.